Welcome back everybody 643 now on daybreak and all of this week we are building up to the big opening of the new John R. Oshai Children's Hospital. The doors open on Friday, so this morning we're introducing you to the man behind the name. Everybody's Pete Gallivan tells us the story of John O'Shai in this morning's Unknown Story of Western New York. John R. O'Shai was born in 1886 and grew up on Buffalo's west side. He went to Central High but never graduated, quitting instead to help in his father's law practice. But it was a part-time job as an usher at the Star Theater at Pearl and Mohawk that paved the way to John's passion. He worked his way up in a variety of theaters, eventually managing the legendary Tech Theater and even trying his hand as a playwright. But while he found his passion in the arts, it was an accident that led him into business. John O'Shai's life and fortunes changed as he was driving up this stretch of Delaware Avenue in 1916 during a rainstorm. As he was approaching Virginia Street, he hit a bicyclist, a bicyclist he never saw. It was then that O'Shai vowed never to let that happen again by producing a better windshield wiper. He sought out the best technology available and in 1917 created the first automobile wiper blades and grew the idea into an industry standard. Uh, that's what he did, and he started Trico Products. Jim Wadsworth serves as the chairman of the Oshai Foundation. He says Trico's big break came when Pierce Arrow signed a deal to feature their wiper blades on all of their cars. The company grew, buying the old Way and Brewery cold storage building on Ellicott Street, and eventually building plant one around it. Wadsworth says that from the very beginning, the Trico founder was a strong Buffalo backer, even standing up for his hometown when Henry Ford tried to pressure him into moving that I want you to move your company to, to Detroit so it'll be near the Ford company. He said, no, I'm, I'm a Buffalonian. I'm gonna keep my company in Buffalo. And Ford said, okay, I'm not buying windshield wipers from you. Uh, and a year later, he was back buying windshield wipers because he couldn't get any good ones from anyone else. Trico grew into Buffalo's largest private employer. His whole focus was to try to benefit Western New York, keep the company here, set the foundation up here, live here. And in 1940, he established the Julia R. and Estelle L. Foundation, named after his wife and daughter. The foundation would eventually be renamed the John R. O'Shai Foundation, but from its start, it concentrated its support to hospitals and schools in the Buffalo area, with the balance being directed to cultural and social service needs. So uh, Mr. O'Shai was a very loyal Buffalonian, and so the idea of uh, of setting up a foundation that would uh, that would benefit uh, this community with the bulk of his foundation uh, was very, very natural to him. And that's why they made an initial award to help with the establishment of the medical campus itself, and then gave a separate $10 million gift to support the new children's hospital that will come Friday bear his name. Well, he would be very, very proud of that. And we are proud to be able to share this very benevolent chapter of the unknown stories of Western New York.